All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our college algebra homework number six in my lab math. It says sketch the graph of the function and check the graph with a graphing calculator. I don't think that's really necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. Before doing so, describe how the graph of the function can be obtained from the graph of a basic exponential function. All right, so they've given me an exponential function here, and down here they want me to describe how the graph of the function can be obtained. Okay, basically what they want me to do is to describe the transformations. So up here in this window, I'm going to show you how to determine the transformations. So we've got a minus 5. I want you to notice the minus 5 is outside of the exponent. This is what I consider an external attachment, which is a vertical shift. Minus is down. So if you have a number added or subtracted to the exponential piece, that is a vertical shift. Plus is up, minus is down. Next, we have a plus 3 that is directly added to the x. Notice that the plus 3 is in the exponent itself. That is a horizontal shift. Plus is left. Minus is right. So here we can see we have two transformations. We have a down shift and a left shift. And I think it may be important to point out that the base is 2. You may need to know that when you're graphing an exponential. Okay, so let's go over here to my lab math. It says start with the graph of y equals, okay, our base is 2. We want to shift it which direction? 3. That is left 3. And we said down 5. Bam. Oh, and now we get to graph it. All right. So let's click on the graph. And we want, nope, it's not a logarithm. It's an exponential. So click on the exponential tool. And then I think I can click anywhere. Yeah. Because it's going to want me to put in the transformations. Oh, and look at this. It is going to want the base. So remember I said that's important. I don't know why it defaults to E, but you're going to have to change it to base 2. And the vertical shift we said was down 5, so that's negative 5. And you can see that as I move it back and forth. Can you see the graph going up and down? So we have a shift down 5, and we said left 3, which would actually be negative 3. And can you see that moving left and right? Left 3. Now what I want to do is, remember it said to use a graphing calculator to check? I'm going to plug this function into Desmos real quick and check it. So that was 2 to the x plus 3. Oh, look what Desmos did. It didn't let the plus go up top. See, I'm up there, and plus, it jumps it down. So what we're going to have to do in Desmos to make it all stay in the exponent is use a parenthesis. x plus 3 keeps it all in the exponent, and then we can say minus 5. 2 to the x plus 3 minus 5. Now look what we've got over here. We've got an x-intercept and a y-intercept of 3. If we look at our graph over here, you'll see that that is the same. We've got an x-intercept of, I'm sorry, a y-intercept of 3 and an x-intercept that is a little bit bigger than negative 1. So I feel pretty good about this. Let's check it. Bam! Right on. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or you can text me. And thanks for watching.